<laughs> Jeremy versus Lena Morgan. I oh, know. No, that's gone. <laughs> yeah. <Me>. yeah. <laughs> uh, your your mind's Desiri like Twitch handle. Is that intentional? Because mine says I was already taken. Or... Yeah, correct. <laughs> this is all, this is all, this is also my this is also my stripper name. Mine's Desiree. Yeah, I fucking love it. it cracks me up so much. Yeah, it's literally it's literally just because mine's Desire was taken. Yeah, I mean Desiree, not uh, not a name often applied to non-strippers these days. Up there with Nebraska in terms of uh, I and Tess's stripper names. Yeah. What's a crank match? I don't understand that terminology. What do you mean? Uh, just Kikita Seo is asking. We have two crank matches coming up, but I don't know. I think I think you... that was I think it's supposed to be Crane. <laughs> yeah. I mean that K is a long way from the E on my keyboard, but sure. <laughs> I thought I cracked. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We're back with game two after a yeah after after a, a really awesome match on uh you know all things considered. Um, you know you know I know you think Chris is like a shoe in to win that, but I the way it was going, I I felt like uh Dan could have time sorry yeah it is Dan yeah Dan could have timed yeah. that one out. Sure, sure. Like obviously that is a possibility, but like I I am playing under the impression that that won't happen, right? Like obviously that is that is the way he wins. But I also think that if you click, like, if you, like, Chris is fast enough to get to the point where, where the advantage has been made. I don't know. I, yeah. I was confident in my boy. How's that? That's fair enough. So, Gunso finds the board rider? Is that what's happened here? Yeah. That's what it looks like. That's a lovely hit with Gunso there. Pure skill, digging out that board rider. And then also hitting a five and a one on your, on your, uh... Hitting a five and a one on on your turn one is also very powerful. That's a huge skill play as well there, getting that Chagatai and Moto Youth in the bin. I, actually, Neil, what's the password for this? I don't have to watch it it's on your stream. One two three four. They like to keep us on our toes with these passwords, don't they? All right, here we go. Is this the same crane deck that Sly Knight was playing yesterday or something very similar? Is it the Unicorn Tower or is it on something else? This helps myself. On good old green splash. Yes, at the start of his name. Sorry, I'm not actually seeing the explanation here. Say again. I'm asking. I was literally asking Mark where's HS at the start of his name, but it's, it's not it's really important. It's Hearthstone. Ah, uh, got you. So we see one of the uh, one of the dueling grounds bow fucking motor youth here, and City of the Rich Frog goes right down. So I tested a lot of City of the Rich Frog and Unicorn, and after chatting with people, I. I don't know if it's actually correct. You're just giving them a free break a lot of the time. And it also makes Ender's Plains worse. Because it's like just one safe province, right? 
Yeah. I think and, it, it, which you're definitely going to attach for the thing you need to look for in the planes. It's interesting that Jeremy went firing. Is it maybe just to deny the Keeper initiates? Yeah, potentially. Uh, potentially deny him a way to um, contest voice this. Yeah, I, I guess that's also true, right? Right, like he can turn off your challenger. Um, and then also, uh, there are two Keeper initiates, right? There's a face up one, and then one one is in the bin. There uh, are two Keeper. Uh, yeah, there are two Keeper. So th that's actually a pretty good tempo hit here. Hits wa runs water and runs into pilgrimage here. Jeremy blocks and I wonder. I wonder, this is obviously just the bait attack, right? Like, you, you do this you do this to, to force a defense. If it's the bait attack, then he needs the captive audience. For yeah, yeah. Court, which is probably going to get cancelled. I don't know if this is the basic. Like, the way I like to do the bait attack is to, is to do the political first. Like, threaten the captive audience. Sure, it's, do the it's, it's, the, it's the same theory though, right? Like if you do the if you do the military, uh, it's the same it's the same amount of respect in quotation marks. Where you either have it's to... just it's just if they block the political, you then you have the military unblocked for the next. Sure, but like like you said, they have to have the captive audience. So like if I don't block the political, I am in the same spot where on your second attack you still have to have the captive audience. Like. At the end of the day, if you don't have captive audience, it's the same thing. I guess. I guess. I, I guess. If you are playing in somebody who isn't thinking about it as like just purely analytically, you can get them to maybe overcome it and block on political. Yeah, that's basically it. I mean, it's not. It's not a huge difference, but it is like it's just a little a little tighter air quotes. So we have a steward come down and double bonsai is the border rider. Um, I wonder how Jeremy is going to handle this. If he has his own bonsai, that would be ideal. He's a one, his one assassination would be really strong here. Absolutely. Almost, almost be a GG right here. Uh, like on Curve Blade isn't bad. Um, I think. Okay. Is this is this a unicorn on War Camp? Yeah, two copies of War Camp. So Curve Blade. Uh, also two copies of Talisman. Um. Interesting. Interesting it's that a, it's a it's a fine let go target. It's not ideal one. It's middling. It's middling, right? Like so, there's five yeah. there's five attachments, and Curve Blade is oh right. Oh my in god! The he just he just snap fires the second let go at this katana though. And there's the cab reserves. Are we gonna see? This is, he... this is a frustrated cab reserves. This has got to be the voice here. No, it doesn't. Oh have no, it. boys! He doesn't have it. He can he can force shame. He can force shame the checks though. And then the water ring just stands him. Oh, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That doesn't work. Oh. Ah. He gambled and he won. It's not really Balls a gamble. on the table there. It's not, it's, it's, not really, it's not really a gamble. So, so, so theoretically speaking, if you were to, um, if you were to play an, uh, something and to avoid a cancel, your best bet is to do it on turn one because your opponent has seen the least number of cards. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Like, people who are like, oh, well, if he cancels it, I can maybe bait it out later. It's just like, you're giving your opponent opportunities to draw the card. Like, you know, people who play combo decks, for instance, in card games, really understand the value of just making my opponent have it. Yeah. And that was actually something um, that I, it, took me a, it took a long while to sink in for me. Like, it actually it was the two weeks before Worlds where Kevin was like, look, man, you're, you're playing way too conservatively with this faction. You have to, like... Just go for it and make him have it. Yeah, exactly. You know, if yeah. I get, like, 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 if I play, I play show and tell, and if you have forcible, you have forcible, right? Right? Like, I mean, we're both we're both here to do our thing, and you know, if you stop me, you stop me. Very true. Uh, hey. well, if he had defend your honor, that would that would have been uh, cheating because the unicorn list does not have any copies of defend your honor. So upholding authority is actually a great hit for Jeremy here because it's reason doing the least amount of damage this turn with only three cards in yeah, hand yeah absolutely i'm i'm pretty happy pretty happy to hit it here yeah i'm super happy if i'm jeremy no problems there at all going to take this 
steward of law here? I don't know. What would you take? I'd take the steward of law. Um, it's like that or the story defeat. The story defeat is actually relevant this turn. Um, because of these things. Because the of the end. yeah, there's still a Kakita dojo unused. So it really depends. Um, so obviously Chags is safe, but if Chags hits Shameful, for instance, yep, then it's Chags can get uh, dueled by the Challenger, followed by um, Story defeated. However, we discard. Oof, so he, and he hits, he hits the captive hits, audience. Hits the captive there. audience, yeah. He was gonna need that for his so, three breaks. Yeah, so you want so so the way the, the way this attack wants to go is you want to get, get your you want to get the military break here and then have Chags just do like a a, a token political attack. Yeah, and the, really, really. So like ideally, the way that this would go is unicorn breaks and then Chags finds shameful display on the province without a Kakita dojo. That's exactly it. Like that is ideal spot here. What what province does he not want to hit here? Shameful display is the worst, and then uh, no upholding authority is probably the worst. I don't know. I feel I, like I, like like hitting up. He shameful. Like... He's not getting uh he's not getting a second break. Then he spent three. Oh sure days. sure yeah, yeah I see what you're saying yeah shameful's yeah. maybe the... it depends on his hand right like he has, still has four cards he does hit shameful. I mean, obviously, you you have to. Um, if he has a military pump, it doesn't matter, right? I've seen a bunch of cards played this turn. This is the this is different than this is the different. Oh, unleash the gin. Ah, uh, here we go. This doesn't, that, this doesn't matter do though. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, that'll that yeah that'll do it. Yep. So unleash that the gin comes down. Do it. Um, Jeremy, Jeremy just has to pass here. Uh, but like, um, Akuma can't get the third break this turn. I guess he technically could if he has another captive audience. Yeah, yeah. that's the only way. Yeah, yeah. So he could hit, if he hits, if he hits, um, either either province. It's really dangerous though if you don't have it, because if you flip over a magistrate station, that could lose you the game long term. So I actually I think, think it, I think it'll be very telling if he. Interesting. He, he. Oh, I guess he's just gonna do it and see what happens here. It doesn't prevent the break though. But I guess it bows him. You you could play it to bow and prevent um prevent another attack. I'm actually totally fine with that. I just kind of want the honor. <laughs> this is that's fucking bad. Man. I would have. I, 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 I would have been too. There's no need to bid five here. This shameful yeah. display is still breaking. That is that is a waffle right there. Okay, sorry, yikes. Well, actually, uh, no, 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 it's actually not that bad. I, I, I'll, I'll explain why that is awful because um, he was four. He was uh, on six honor. He was going to have another two leaving place. He was going to go go down. Uh, he was going to get some from the air ring back, but he would have been he would have been equal on cards and four honor behind, which is but that not doesn't really that doesn't matter. But that doesn't matter. He's yeah. gonna be. He's gonna. No, it doesn't matter. He's gonna be first player. He's gonna gain two from the air ring. He's gonna be able to bid five again. And if he's in in danger at all, going to attack air first conflict. Jeremy cannot bid one next turn and survive. Right. Like like the the like the honor totals do not matter. People are still going to bid five. I I think I think that is a classic hang up of, but the honor totals mattered where they really don't. The only thing Jeremy did was enable more honor loss cards, but also those were just going to get enabled. Like there's a yurt here, right? Like it's just there's just it's just spots where it's not something that you can keep uh, that you can consistently count on. Whereas if you both just bid five and play your cards against each other, that is consistently what you what, consistently the game plan that you can rely upon. All right. This oh, I will. Well, well uh, yeah, that so, makes sense. So so also this isn't the same. So this this also isn't the same as the previous matchups we saw against Unicorn, where Unicorn fell behind on Honor early and then got one bid. Though both of those decks had proving grounds, like they had they had turn one they had turn one proving grounds, right? Like that's not what Jeremy has here. We also um, just saw a season of war um, triggered to get rid of the Kuzanobo. I also don't think it's that bad because you did get the bow on Chags with the Kakita Dojo specifically, so you didn't even need to play the story to defeat. 
defeat only um, works against characters that have lost the duel. Yeah, but like Challenger is a duelist, so she just gets to bow from Kikita Dojo. Um, yeah, you know, I, I guess. I guess like I'm just wondering why he bothered to do any of that when he had no way to actually win the conflict at all. Be because then the Chags like, didn't get the third attack. What? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I see. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. I, I, yeah. Sometimes I, I always remember Chagatai having three glory, but it's two, so ignore me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, like, also, you don't risk your opponent having second captive audience, third break on your stronghold this turn, right? Da Dazzling Duelist. Hey. Oh, hits Magic Station. All right, so this is gonna be the this is gonna be the important turn here. Um, and Jeremy, Jeremy, you know, recognizes that we have a face up encampment. Um, you know. Did Jeremy draw a voice, right? That's going to be the... And did Akuma... Oh, let's get this list up here. So, we're definitely... We're definitely oh, Akuma does have all three keepers in play, or face up right now. So, we see Dazzling Duelist, D Duel... Oh, okay, so... so Speaking of duels, by the way, Dazzling Duelist forces a really awkward bid because if the uh, Yasumura had lost, he could not claim the Fire Ring, even and though if he had not. won, and could not then get his Keeper Initiates. Like, the, like, look, I get it. People don't... Oh, man, you're into papers. Awkward. Uh, yeah, um, that is awkward. I get it. I get it. People don't like duels um, because they feel... Most of the time, they feel... Um, deterministic even even if they're not but like there's been a lot of interesting dual dual uh decisions there i think go. and he there's just, no fucking yeah he just hasn't drawn a voice one. yeah oh my god this is not where you want to be not where you want to be indeed okay uh and crane has rallied to the strong cause of his stronghold will cause a slowdown of one conflict That's Magistrate Station gone. Unicorn doing unicorn things here. And he's got the fucking encampment as well. So if I'm Jeremy, I'm sending both my characters on water. Mm -hmm. uh, do you know what, though? Because the encampment's actually on the Broken Province, the watering to bow Chags is kind of just whatever, because he'll just use him to defend. That's fine. Then then you can't <laughs> then you can't use the watering to... Or then you can't use the encampment to send Yasumura. This is... Hugely important, this ring. His Chagatai is honored, and he's got three one fake bodies in. This is a big deal. As, 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 Shooter, as Shooter points out, we are seeing the infamous skill test of Voice of Honor versus Cavalry Reserves. It's, it's a very high skill, that is. Did you get the cancel for the Cavalry Reserves? Well, Mark, like, the water ring also represents standing your Dazzling Duelist. Um... And then you can use the challenger to pull in Chags. Through. The challenger literally can't do anything. I, I don't know what this above question does. It doesn't stop you from dying down those planes. You still get lost. No. Oh my god, did he attack it? He's not. He's he has to attack with both characters. He's, yeah, yeah, he's... he's, he's, he's <laughs> For a second there, I thought, like... His feast or famine, obviously not not ideal. Um, <laughs> also, also, also stops the water ring from bowing Chags, but I guess, like like I said, Challenger can just pull. So, I think... He's going for the break, he doesn't have time, so if I am uh, Akuma, I'm going to use Feast of Famine and then go Void, I think. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And that's what we and see. Jer Jeremy's just going for, going for it. I, I mean, next turn... So if Jeremy, if Jeremy does survive this this uh, this turn, next turn he'll ha he'll just be able to uh, hopefully go attack the Stronghold and uh, get, I, get I, the break. I don't, I don't think we're seeing that. I think we're going to see political poke on this box. Oh, there's a Tassin. We're gonna stand Chags. I think I think Jeremy's just dead here. Yeah, I think Jeremy's super dead. In fact, actually, he's just dead to captive audience. Well, I think he's just it... dead to political attack. <laughs> yeah. One, two, three, six, seven, eight, 
nine. Like, actually just dead to this thing called political attack. Yeah, that's, uh... Oh, he's getting military. So well, he he's... should he should definitely do his political here because yeah, it's, should, it's, it's gonna get do. it's gonna get flipped. So yeah. yeah, yeah. Literally, literally, what we saw was that Akuma was smarter in that he drew two two cavalry reserves in his top uh top half of the deck versus zero voice of honors in the top half. Right, like that's that's all we saw. Uh, okay, so we need political rivals here to not no, die. No, the game's over. And it's GG, right? So, wow, that's that. If uh, this is why, for instance, I do find like the keeper crane builds to have a better unicorn matchup because you have a more reliable way, or you have more reliable uh consistency in drawing cancels. But like, yeah, I mean, yeah. honestly, there's literally nothing Jeremy could have done. He sure he did draw four this turn. Definitely could have been five. Uh, I would agree with that. Just pointing that out. I, I would agree with that. Yeah, next hey. card voice for sure. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna... Uh, is, I wonder if Zara's ready. Uh, I think that one's starting in 25 minutes. Yeah, but they could start now, and then I could just be be done. Huh? Yeah, but... At the discretion of the players, we'll see. We'll see what they what they're, if they're if they're all around. Yeah, I mean, if he's here, he, we should we should be battling. All right, I'm I'm gonna stop my stream and then uh, I'll message Zara see if he's ready now.